Hello and welcome to this Imaginate tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to manage your emails using Windows Live Mail. We will go through the process of adding a mail account, sending emails, and receiving them. Let's start by adding a mail account. At the top of your screen, you will see a number of options entitled Home, Folders, View, and Accounts. Click on the Accounts option. You will now see the option of adding a new account. Select Email to add a new mail account. The following screen will pop up. Type in the email address that you want to add. You can add any email address to Windows Live, a Gmail, Hotmail, Webmail, Yahoo address, etc. But as this is an Imaginate tutorial, we will use an Imaginate address. In this case, we are going to use tutorial at imaginate.co.za. Next, you will type in your password. You should have received your password in an email data sheet as soon as your account was created. If you are not sure what your password is, please feel free to contact our technical support and they will help you retrieve it. In this case, we are going to use Tutorial 1. Make sure that Remember This Password is selected so that you will not have to type your password in each time you use this program. Next, you will type in the name that you would like to have associated with this address. This is the name that will come up alongside any emails that you send, so if it is a personal address, you may want to type in your full name. If it is a business address, you may want to type in your company's name. In this case, we are going to use Imaginate Tutorial. Make sure that you select Manually Configure Server Settings, and then click Next. Next, you will be asked to fill in your server details. Under Incoming Server Information, make sure that the server type is POP rather than IMAP or Windows Live Hotmail, and under server address type in pop3.imaginet.co.za. The port should be 110, the authentication should be clear text, and the login username should be tutorial at imaginet.co.za or your full email address. Under outgoing server information, type in your outgoing SMTP server. This will differ according to who your service provider is. If you're getting ADSL from Imaginet, your outgoing server will be smtp-dsl.imaginet.co.za. If you're getting ADSL from another service provider, you will need to contact them to find out their outgoing server. If you are hosting a domain or emails with Imaginet, you can use our smtp.imaginet.co.za server. However, any emails to and from this address will then contribute towards your monthly traffic limit. Today we are going to use smtp.imaginet.co.za. The port should be 25 and no other settings should be selected. Make sure that these details are correct and then click Next. You will now be informed that your address has been successfully created. Click Finish. You will now be in your main live mail window. You will see on the side that your new mail account has been added. You will see a number of folders beneath it, including Inbox, Sent Items, and Deleted Items folders. Let's send an email now to test that our address is working. You can send an email by selecting the Home icon at the top of your screen and selecting email message. A new window will pop up for you to type your email in. We are going to send an email to ourselves, so the recipient will be tutorial at imaginet.co.za. The subject is going to be test, and the body is going to read testing, testing, one, two, three. You can now click send. You will now be returned to your main live mail screen, and you may see that there is one item in your outbox. This means that the mail has not yet been sent. Click the Send Receive button towards the top of your screen to attempt to send the mail. Live mail will now attempt to send and receive your messages at the same time. You may find that you will need to click the button twice in this instance, once to send the email and once to receive it as mails can occasionally be delayed by a few seconds. And now we have one email from Imaginet Tutorial, which is the test mail that was sent a moment ago. Click once to see this mail beside the subject, 
or double click to open it in a new window. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You have now set up your Windows Live Mail to send and receive emails. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our technical support.